Because there's a lot of people who will go from 20 to 80 years. I, there are people in my sphere that interact with me on social that I'm 100% sure will never win. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. <laughs> Yeah, so I started laughing after Gary said that, but then I had this moment of panic thinking, uh-oh, is he like sending me some sort of cryptic message like he's talking about me? Um, I was trying to figure out if he was giving me some sort of signal behind the scenes and um, I mean, I guess from that moment on, whether he was or wasn't, I started to really take what he was saying seriously. I got back to LA, I started thinking about other streams of revenue, including writing my new book, starting a course. Around that time, I was approached by the sponsor of this video, my friends from the Dot Store Domain, and I actually took this opportunity to start my online store uh, after you know I got this subtle hint, or maybe it wasn't meant for me, I don't even know, but anyway. So I am liking my partnership with the Dot Store Domain friends, and, and here's what it is. You can go out and get yourself a Shopify site. I love these guys. Um, but if you don't want to do that or if you want to make it even easier, just go to the dot .store domain and get your own domain with dot .store. In other words, you know, my site is behind the brand .tv usually um, or my production site which is thegoodbrain.com and what you can do is get this dot .store extension and instantly your website becomes shoppable, it tells people that you have a store and um, it's ready to go. It's like create prices, list your products or services and off you go. So. Uh, I set up mine, which is behind the brand dot store, and I put up some of my favorite books there from uh, some of my favorite authors. I also have my own book there, and uh, if you haven't heard, I'm writing a book. I'm announcing it right now. Ta-da! It's going to be coming out probably Q1 of 2022, and uh, so depending on when you're watching this, uh, you can get it or pre-order it or check it out. Right now what I've done is giving you kind of a sneak peek and I wanted to put up some of the mock covers, the designs that we are in development. Now these are rough drafts, these are not final, uh, but I have about 10 of them up there that you can peruse and uh, let me know which ones you like best. Put it in the comments, you know, I like number one, I like number six, I like the yellow one, whatever. Um, and I will take your feedback into consideration because that's super important to me. But um, I have lots of other things coming down the pipeline for this dot store domain and I'm happy that uh, this partnership existed because otherwise I probably wouldn't have gotten around to it or maybe it's a little bit too technical for me. I just have you know, zero time because I'm doing all this lights, camera, action, production kind of stuff. So um, it's working out great. If you want to try a dot store domain out for yourself, uh, there's a special promotion for my fans and the behind the brand audience. You can go to a bit.ly link, I'll put it here in the description. It's bit.ly slash your custom store and you'll get kind of a special deal, special hookup from me and uh, the dot store domain people. And uh, now let's get back into the episode. Here we go. You know, it's tough, you know, in a world where I, look, in a world where I've accomplished a lot of great things and, and I'm in a very happy place, like it makes me want to bring other values to other people, right? And so, if I'm giving advice, if I'm putting out content, if I want something good to happen, if I'm so selfish that I want somebody to email me and say I've, they've, I've changed their life, I want to give them practical advice. And hustle's the only thing, I can't tell people become more talented. Like you're not, you know, like, hey, become smart. Like, yeah. like smarter was good, that was good advice. But that's not good advice anymore because information's on our hand. Like memorizing information is not good advice anymore. Right. Like, what do you want to know? Here it is. Yeah. So like, that's right. Choice. So that's not good. What's what is controllable? You know, work three hours more a day. Like, now work three hours more a day if you're sitting at home and complaining. If you are not happy with your life, if you're pumped, if you make a million dollars a year or fifty thousand dollars a year, if you see your kids every day, if you never see your kids, if you go to tons of ball games, if you've never watched sports, however you roll, if you're pumped, if you're watching right now and you're pumped, got a mazel tov, like I'm so happy. Yeah, leave like, it yay, as is. Yay! Yeah. If you sit at home right now and you're watching this on a small screen on your laptop and you're not pumped, the one thing that I know everybody can do is go to the bar a couple less times with their buddies. It's play a couple less games on your, don't play fucking Candy Crush. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse in the, <laughs> behind, but you know, but yeah. you know, that is why I'm obsessed with hustle because it's the one variable that everybody can control that can change the outcome of their lives. Yeah. So you talk about learning from losing. You know, you talk yes. about, you know, this thing, you know, people watch this show, they're, they're in startup mode, they're entrepreneurs or they're just trying to make it happen, they're trying to win. But you talk about 
uh, learning to love losing. Yes. Can you break that down a little bit? If you're putting on an entrepreneurial jersey, it's kind of like UFC. Like nobody's gonna go undefeated, right? Like, you should know, expect the loss. Look, we've become friendly through the years. Yeah. Like there's ups and downs and like, you know, like it's just, you lose. You lose along with winning. Look, I, and I'm also trying to talk about it a little bit more because I'm such an optimist that like everything out of my mouth is like, yeah, like, I mean, I don't have a gear to complain about my losses. I'm not gonna make content that you know is ha- has me crying. Yeah. And so I just know that being an entrepreneur means that, I mean, right now I'm in the, in the midst of putting together a big deal. In the not executing it properly in the last 12 months, I've lost a million dollars. Now, you know, listen, I've done well, but that's not easy for me. Like yeah. that's not, I'm not, you know, I'm not Beyonce yet, you know, and so um, So you're hurts. talking about it because you want to get people I'm ready talking, for I'm talking the... about it because I'm feeling a bigger responsibility because more people are paying attention. Okay. And I want to make sure that people see the whole picture. I'm showing people, like, my hustle is different than your hustle. Like, I don't have 20 minutes. Right, th- there is no 10 minutes today that I'm going to watch a funny YouTube video that my buddy sent me. Yeah. That doesn't exist. And so I also want to talk about losing. Like losing's part of the equation. Every entrepreneur loses some, now for me, I like micro losses. Thank God that losing that kind of money is now a micro loss, I'm not out of business. Yeah. So I'm, tr- I'm taking micro losses to make sure I don't have a macro loss. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people who will go from 20 to 80 years, I, there are people in my sphere that interact with me on social that I'm 100% sure will never win. <laughs> I'm being dead serious, and yeah. it's a tough thing to say, and I don't like to say what I just said, but they will perpetually lose in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and then die. Yeah. I fully believe that. Is that lack of talent? It's a lack of self-awareness. Okay. It's not lack of talent. We all have talents. We all have two or three things, four things, that we're better at than the other things we're good at. Now, your best thing that you're best at you might actually just be average in the whole world at. But if it's your best thing, it's the thing you need to do because being average is a hell of a lot better than being below average. Right. Got it? Yeah. Self-awareness is the ultimate, the ultimate in our society right now and we're living through a time right now where a lot of kids are being sold to become entrepreneurs when they're not. We're living in a time where people are being told to become famous and extroverts and put out content and they're not. And as somebody who's living that life, I want people to understand, like, look, you have to be built for it. In the same way that I wasn't built to be a scholar, and even though I grew up in the 80s and 90s when being a good student was the game, I fought against it because I was self-aware. Now we have the reverse. There's so many great students that can go and become amazing consultants, make 500,000 a year, have a beach house, marry attractive people, have a great life, but they're gonna go and become startup founders and spend six years failing, going into depression, not winning. It's a real thing. Yeah. Self-awareness. So your advice is to double down on what you're good at? Quadruple down. Yeah. Like, uh, doubling's not enough, right? Brian, like, like, all of it. Yeah. Like, we just were talking before about, you know, some services where I'm like, I'll pay for anything. Like, if you're not good at hanging a picture, have somebody else do it. Yeah. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that. <laughs> you know, tracking my roots.